okay hello friends this is Yusuf here welcome to um, IBMA video after a long time so the reason for this video is actually um, yeah so today uh, I have seen this comment uh, posted by one of our friend uh, Kagandeep okay uh, so it, it took me to create this video okay so the comment is nothing but uh, he says uh, when I go to create a web server in pop 400 I got an error stating that I don't have permission okay so yeah so i know you explained that we need ioc's config authority to do that uh, how to get this permission okay uh, your videos are good but due to insufficient authority i am unable to practice or i would say i am not able to see the things in my system okay and then uh, how everything happens so he doesn't know that so any tips on this uh, and about the hands on experience how to do that and so on and mainly is asking in the interview if they ask uh, have you worked on any latest technologies if I say only theoretical knowledge then they may not take it so how do we get around this so I'm going to put my thought on this comment and then uh, these are the things I'm going to discuss on this video okay so the whole topic is how can we practice or uh, how can we do some web related things in IBMI okay if you have interest but how do we get started so first of all uh, based on the questions what you mentioned uh, uh, we need uh, a yes, server that supports creating the web concepts right so which means uh, we can either go to your uh, uh, iws called uh, uh, integrated web servers okay but that need uh, admin access that is uh, can be accessed with a profile that have access to this ioc's config okay but please note that this is uh, one of the highest uh, access i mean the, the authority profile okay so normally we guys may not have it okay so like few years before when i get started with this ibm i i posted the same question in the platform uh, in uh, stack overflow like okay uh, so how do you do that okay so you can i will give the link to the post you can read it but i was asking the same question uh, it needs ios is config authority but how do we uh, get that okay easily so the answer what i got was actually um, we don't need a profile with that i mean uh, with that access but somebody with that access can give an individual user the specific permission to manage AWS servers. Okay, but uh, to be frank, uh, I don't know today in this world how many people are using this particular thing because now the web creating a web APIs are way easier. Okay, using the CGAs and then uh, Node.js things. Okay, but to answer the answer to that question is this one. Okay, you can uh, just have a look at this particular question. Now. Obviously, then if not this particular thing, then how do we do it? Uh, so the next possible way is using the CG programming using the Apache default server. So if your uh, AS400 version or ABMI is uh, V5 or 3 and above, definitely you will be having uh, HTTP web server. Okay. So on that case, to get started with this option, you may not need a higher privilege, but still you need to have access to start and stop the server. So for that you can try, if you go to my blog, so we have this uh, HTML and AS phone intro. So try these commands to check whether do we have a HTTP server subsystem running on your, on your server and in that case you may try to start an Apache default, okay, do it in your development environment anyway. But just to see whether you have that thing already there, if it is there then it is straightforward, okay. Once it is uh, started then you can try your IP directly on the browser, you should be able to see the web page and then just check if you have access to the httpd.config and if you have it then that is it. So you can do whatever the uh, web service you want using just uh, RPG programming and this uh, configuration file okay so more on that is already available on my uh, channel i'll give the link at the end of the video so you can try if this option you have it in your system then you can very well get started okay so then let's come to our pub 400 so assume you have the interest in everything but uh, for some who uh, you don't have the uh, ability to practice because in your server it is not there or you are working in support there is no exposure on dev and so on then for us the only one free server in the world is for 400 so they are giving generously a yeah, server for everyone <laughs> okay user profile for everyone so in that case what we have in pub 400 that's the next question right so if you go to pub 400 if you go to work active job obviously you will see the http server is there but 
uh, we don't have access to do anything with this okay because uh, their actual IBM uh, Pub 400 website is running in this particular HTTP server okay. But in this case how do we practice on Pub 400 that is the next question right. So for that uh, if you go to Pub 400 website itself they tell that create your programming objects you can even use Node.js and other web technologies okay. So how do you do that that is what we are going to do in this video okay. So, if you know already we have made couple of videos in the past uh, uh, like uh, how do we create a node application that is being exposed on the web and then how do we get data from physical file and so on. But I would have showed only the output and then the program directly but I have not done anything from scratch. So today I am going to do it because now they have officially said we can try so we can do. So that is what this point is all about. Uh, we just saw the option for Pub 400 is to create web service and APIs using Node.js and uh, because CGE option is not there because there is no Apache default and also first option is not there definitely they will not give you this privilege okay. Uh, so we are going to try this one okay. How do we create a web application not a web application how do we get started with uh, Node.js uh, with respect to web in Pub 400. So what we want for that? So first of all, what we want is um, -da -da -da. okay. So if you go to your uh, main page of Pub 400, you say uh, please use port 2222 for SSH. Okay. So we are gonna use that because uh, the Node environment uh, is working very well on SSH. Okay. I'll just show you. All right. So. First of all, um, if you go to QSH and then if you try uh, node-v, then you will see the node is already installed, okay. So uh, if you want to write a program, then obviously it will be on your IFS path, okay. So something like this, should be having it already something, yeah, see test.js. So you create your uh, JavaScript code on IFS path. So in this case, te test.js. Then you go to QSH and just type. Uh, what is where is it actually? Okay. So node test.js. So this is the way you will run it. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I never know that. Okay, I think maybe they are stopping node from execution from QSH. Okay, anyway, that's good. But now what we are going to do, we are going to execute the node via the uh, QSH or not QSH, basically the secure shell or SSH. Okay. So for that, uh, if you are a Windows user, you can either use a thing called Putty or Putty. Okay, that's a software. Or nowadays, it's easier to do it. Uh, if you go to Chrome, you can type uh, secure shell in the extension, then you will get uh, what is that the extension from the chrome directly okay. So the good thing is if you open the chrome after you install the extension you will be seeing this icon if you click it uh, yeah so here I already configured it okay. So it will open up uh, connection dialog okay something like this. So here uh, you can type your uh, so see your username at the IP so in this case we are going to use pub400.com like this okay and then here the port you give to do okay. So with this we can try then uh, okay so here it will try to connect and it will ask you password okay yeah. So once you do that um, you should be able to log in now we are in pub400 but in SSH mode. So as you can see we directly went to the IFS path. And uh, if you do ls, we see all the programs and node test.js, we should be able to get the output here, testing node, okay, because the code is simply a console log of the statement, okay. Now, what we are going to do from here, we are going to create a simple uh, web server using node and see the result, okay. Let us do that. So, for that, uh, we are going to use Node.js along with something called Express, okay. Express is actually a framework uh, using which we can create web application and so on, okay. So for that first of all let me create a directory, okay, dir web node, okay. And let me go inside web node, okay. Now it is empty folder. First thing we are going to do an npm init and y, okay. Uh, npm is called node package manager, again do these things are uh, Node.js related stuff. 
which you can learn uh, separately or maybe I will do a video in future. But we are creating an MT project uh, uh, here and initiating with the npm so that we can install the express from the npm package. Okay. So now after this you can say npm install express. Okay. So this will go to the npm repository and then fetch the all the code related to the express and create. Okay. Now if you see, uh, sorry. Uh, Previously it was empty okay after the npm init uh, this package.json was created and then after the npm uh, install express we, the node modules folder created okay. So if you go to pub 400 as well uh, should be able to see this one. So here is the web node and here node modules and you will see lot of folders with uh, code created okay but we do not care about this folder leave it but this is what helping to create these web servers and so on okay. okay. Now let us write some code. So for that uh, let me create an empty file and okay. And good thing is we can edit directly here okay editing the code in IFS path is not a so user friendly. So we are going to use a nano editor index.js okay. So let us do a quickly const express equals to require express const app equals to express then oh something wrong with it okay so app dot get so we're gonna create a get endpoint with the slash okay and then it will take a request response function call and we're gonna say console.log request received just to check the request and response dot send hello from node inside IBMI and then we just start the server using app dot uh, listen we will use a port number you can use some random port and then uh, yeah we will just log server starter dot port 0 0 mm, alright. So we will just save this one ok just check whether it is saved or not. Okay, so the code is there. So now to start, we just need to say node index.js. Okay, hopefully it should start. Okay, server started server started at port 3030. So how do we check that? So you just go to a browser uh, and then you go to pub400.com colon 3030. Then you should be able to see oh there is a double dot. Okay, so hello world, hello from Node.js inside IBMI. So, what we are trying to tell here is, it is so easy to get started with web programming in IBMI using Pub 400. Okay, so all you have to do is uh, just get started and then start practicing. Okay, so what is the next step? So now we just displaying some plain text, but obviously the good thing will be creating a restful web service. Uh, on top of some kind of table okay like uh, you create delete update things using web, web, web service okay so how do you do that uh, <coughs> one quick thing is actually yeah uh, uh, i had one code let me show it here uh, what is this uh, let me think let me think let me think let me think okay so cd test node okay I was creating some code earlier. Let me show you again. Okay, so here you can see one index.js. Uh, if you see the code, it is actually uh, fetching the data from the physical file and then displaying it. Okay, so if you run this one, where you will see an output of uh, a JSON. Okay, here. Uh, we are checking, we are executing the SQL using Node.js. Okay, so if you copy it and then uh, check it here, okay, 
strsql so it is nothing but a simple physical file having two data and the same thing has happened here so now you can combine this part with in your uh, web service api and uh, you can uh, get the data from the physical file and expose it to web right so even that i have made a demo so if you go to my mm -hmm, playlist where I have this IBM web development if you come down you will be seeing this video here ok so this one is actually taking the data from the physical file and then showing it on the web ok but this one was using a different driver then later after this new thing called IDB connector came so I created a video this one ok accessing the DB2 data using Node.js IDB connector so that is the whole story about this video. So, I, what I want to convey is this thing. Uh, if you want to get started with web development, it is actually easy. But only thing you need, uh, you need interest and then uh, you need to have some time to practice. And also, if you do not have IBMI or uh, Perf 400, does not mean that you cannot learn web concepts. Okay? So, you can learn, you can install Node.js uh, on your machine and then start doing everything. But just the connect connection between the uh, node and uh, IBM I is simply what I have just shown, okay. It is already there. Instead of laptop, it is there in your server, that is it, okay. But all the code what you are going to return is pretty much same. So, if anyone asks you in an interview, do you have worked on the latest technologies, you say yes, you have worked, okay. I have tried to expose data from uh, physical file using uh, web server using Node.js or uh, CGA programming, okay. But at the end, this is the knowledge you want, okay. And uh, obviously, uh, it is not uh, uh, in this world, it is not so difficult to get started with the web concepts and IBM uh, APIs, okay. So, that is the point. And one final thing is um, uh, which I personally want to tell um, see, if you want to learn Python or Node.js, you install it and then you just get started, okay. But if you want to learn RPG, it is not easy, right? Uh, Windows Server and the server has to come with the cost and so on but this perf 400 guys are providing a generosity showing uh, like giving each user profile with the 300 MB of storage which means uh, we should make sure we are doing the right things on the server do not uh, misuse it ok anyway there is a limit of 300 MB so use it only within that limit so keep the system clean so that uh, uh, yeah they, they extend this service for a long time ok that is the end thought so yeah that is it for this video hope this helps you in some way to get started with this thing and uh, yeah um, I will see you in the next video thanks for watching.